Hey guys, real quick, just I want to make sure you guys watch this all the way through. Um, because I started, when I made this video, I was kind of commenting through it and stuff. Um, but I did some narration and some voiceover through it. Keep in mind that the circles you're going to see, which is tracking the ball through there, all I'm doing is copying and pasting them on each shot at the exact moment that that ball hits the lane. So it's in the same spot every single time. And those those rings are on the same spot, ain't same part of the lane, every single shot that you see. So keep that in mind. Watch this all the way through. Keep an open mind through this. I mean, it is what it is. It's just like I said, find an advantage. That's all you need to do. So watch this all the way through. Hope you guys enjoy this. What's happening, y'all? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside the beautiful Waterford Lanes. Empty Waterford Lanes. But today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that surface. I want to see, we're just going to do a little test run here, just because. See if I'm actually even sharp and I can throw the ball where I want to throw it right now. But we're going to try and we're going to take a solid, that Legion solid. I know you haven't seen the review on it yet, but it's coming. But I'm going to take that Legion solid and I'm going to throw it out here. I'm going to throw a few shots, watch what it does without wiping it off. And then I'm gonna wipe it off and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Or maybe, I don't know, I'll figure out how I'm gonna do that here in a minute, but yeah, I don't know, stay tuned, we'll be back. All right, so I wanna take and throw this a few shots. You can see in the track area, it's got no oil on it. So I'm gonna take and throw it a couple of shots. I'm gonna have my feet lined up right at about 30. Uh, and I'm gonna try to hit that, you know, 17, 18 range, getting it going towards maybe six, seven. And I wanna see what it does. Let me zoom in just a little bit here, if it'll let me. There we go, we'll kinda zoom in just a little bit there so you can see where the ball's going. And we'll see if we can kinda throw a few shots and watch what happens to ball reaction if we leave it. Maybe we won't be able to see anything. I don't know, let's find out. So you can see that wasn't a bad shot. That was 17-ish, probably to about six or seven. About what we were looking for. Let's look at the track flare on it. Let me zoom this back out now so you can see the ball. So you see all that oil sitting there, but it stops at a certain point. And it's this part right here. You can see this is basically the end of the pattern. And then back here, it's still rolling over here. It's still dry, but we're gonna leave that there and see what happens and you can see it's starting to kind of soak in a little bit you can see them starting to dissipate a little bit like a pretty similar shot to me but this time I got the flat 10 out to me it looked like the one before that tried to just roll a little early I don't know or maybe I got that one to the right quicker who knows but again so now we got the fresh oil oh I didn't zoom in so that one was tough for you to see but here we'll zoom back in so now you can see a little better not wiping it So that looked pretty consistent to me. Rolled okay. The first one flat 10. I feel like it rolled early. Now I'm going to wipe this one off. I'm just going to use regular microfiber. 
and I'll show you what it looks like. And see, and right here, you can see it's smearing it. You can still see the oil on it. It's just smeared a little bit, but it's definitely drier than what it was. try that again because that was an awful shot you don't want to do that it's still struck though so that's good see wiping it off helped that time all right again i'm gonna wipe it off that's why we need a robot Too bad. Let me wipe it off again. We're just doing a naked eye test. We're just trying to test to the eye and see what it sees. This is a key shot. When I slow this down, you'll be able to see it. the ball actually tracks through the first two circles there perfectly in this exact same, and they're in the exact same spot, but it doesn't quite get to the same spot down lane. And that's where the problem is. And that's where I've been seeing the inconsistency is it when I wipe it off, I seem to a lot of times get an earlier ball motion than when I don't wipe it off. You know, you could take it however you want, but that's just how I see it. If you slow that down and go back through, you can see it just, the angle is right because it goes through the first two circles just fine, but does not on the third one. It's hard to say. I'm going to wipe this one off again and you can see it's wiped off. Alright, in another key shot here, you'll notice I actually miss right. You'll watch the ball just go to the outside. It won't be perfectly centered. And even though I missed to the right, the ball still was to the left on that last marker, that last circle up there. So on the first two markers, the ball was actually to the right side of the circles. And on the last one, the ball was to the inside. Now this is just a naked eye test. We're obviously just slowing some shots down and you can see the difference because I have these circles placed in the exact same spot every single shot. So you can see that the shots are real similar, but you can see where the differences are coming in. Through the front part of the lane, on most of them, on the other ones, they were the same, but down lane it went to the left. And on this one, you can see, I even, which is why it got to the pocket, because I missed to the right with my angle through the first two circles. And, and it's still the ball got to the inside of that last circle. So, I mean, this is just a naked eye test. It's no, no scientific method or anything, but it's just something to think about. It definitely feels like it's earlier when I wipe it. So now I'm not gonna wipe it. I'm gonna leave it as is. You see the oil rings are on there. I mean, maybe it's a psychological thing. Maybe when I don't wipe it, I throw it better. I don't know. Because that one to me just seemed cleaner and more... You know, you're seeing the same down lane motion. The difference being, this is a game of inches. If this ball rolls six inches sooner, it changes your angle. See, that 
that's that prime example. That's what I was talking about. So that one was left off my hand. And remember, I almost 4.9 when I wiped it off. That one didn't get to the spot and it struck. It pushed through there. Maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. I don't know, but I'm gonna wipe it off now. I'm gonna try to miss left again. Hey, I guess I should show you that I did wipe it off. So I mean, nobody calls me a liar. Okay, no oil. Now watch here. Let's see, that was pretty dang good through the front, the first two. And that third one, it was way inside on that third one. You watch, it slows down. Pretty good through there, real close. Excellent through here, almost perfect. But watch this third circle. This third circle, the ball had no chance of getting there. I mean, you could call it lane breakdown, but I mean, we're only talking four, five, six shots at most. For it to change that much, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, a little bit, but wiping the ball off makes a huge difference for me. And again, maybe it's psychological. Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe I grab it a little bit more every time I wipe it off. It could be a number of different things. But to me, it's a disadvantage for my game to be wiping the ball off because I'm seeing better, cleaner ball reaction when I don't. And that's all I'm really getting at here, folks. I'm going to try to overlay these so you can see them, but I didn't think that was much different than the last one. I'm not going to wipe this one off. I'm going to try to throw it the same. So we got oil rings. I'm going to move my eyes one left. I just want to see what happens when I move my eyes one left with the oil rings on the wall. So again, still oil on it. So one left with oil rings on it, four pins. Now I'll wipe it off and try the same thing. All right, y'all, so this isn't the greatest test in the world, but to me, it's the naked eye test. It's being able to see the difference in ball reaction and stuff. And to me, I could definitely see a difference. Maybe it's because I'm biased. Maybe I'm trying to see a difference. Maybe I'm trying to create a difference. Maybe my hand's doing something different when uh, the ball's got oil on it compared to when it doesn't. I don't know, it's really hard to say. We need to do this test with like a robot to really, you know, with like a throw bot or something in order to really test this thing out and see what could actually be possible with this, if it's really a thing or not. But to me, even if it is just a psychological thing, that, that's just still a little bit of an advantage for me. I'd still rather have that than not have it at all. So maybe I'm crazy. I, I mean, I know I'm crazy, but anything's possible. I could be wrong on this whole thing. I, with my naked eye, see a difference between wiping it off and not wiping it off because you got to remember carry and changes in ball motion are just a matter of inches. If your ball's hooking just a little bit more in the front compared to what you want, then that's a big difference. You know, and you can talk about, well, if you want it to be cleaner, just surface it up a little bit. Well, the problem with that is, is then it makes it too angular down lane because the back flares are changed just as much because you technically have to change the entire ball. You have to surface the whole ball according to rules. 
in order to be able to do it legally. So you can't just surface the back flares and leave the front how it is. You can, just don't get caught. I'm not telling you to do that because that's illegal. I wouldn't do it, I've never done it. I will surface the whole ball and I'll just leave the oil on the front so that way my ball is a little cleaner on the front. So um, either way, I mean, it doesn't matter. Again, it's up to you. It's whatever you want to do, whatever you're trying to create on your ball motion. If you've got an advantage not wiping it off, don't wipe it off. If you feel like it helps you to wipe it off, then wipe the ball off. Absolutely wipe it off if you feel like you need to. So I'm not telling you one way or another. This is just the way I see it. So I'm out of here. I will, uh, I'm gonna finish up some reviews and then we'll see you guys next time. Take care.